Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Miss Emily Paints and today I'm gonna give you guys a story time about a horrible Valentine's Day date. Okay, let me get started with this video you guys. So let's call this guy, let's call him Elbow. <laughs> So Albo came to my job. They used to pick stuff up from that place. So uh, I don't want to go into too much details, but this guy comes in and he had always like came in and said hi to me and and talked to me, but nothing, you know, rude or disrespectful. He was always very nice. So one time he told me he was like, "Hey, like um what are you going to do for Valentine's Day?" He's like, I really wanted to, you know, see if you wanted to go out with me on the weekend and we can go eat somewhere or or whatever, you know, something nice. I was like, you know what, I'll think about it, like, I'll let you know. And he was like, okay, he's like, uh, let me give you my number so you can call me and then tell me what you decide. And I was like, okay, for sure. So Elbow gives me his number and I'll tell you guys why I called him Elbow. So he gives me his number and I'm like, mm. I'm considering going out with him. I'm like, he doesn't seem that bad. He's respectful. He's not bad looking. So I was like, okay, I'll give him a, I'll give him a chance. I'll go out with him. And I was telling my mom when I go home, I was like, mom, like this guy, like he invited me to go out. And during this time, I was staying with my mom. So I was like, this guy, he invited me to go out, and he and he, what's it called? He's like very nice. He's a little bit older than me, but he's really nice. And she's like, how old? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm not going to say the age, but he was probably like four or five years older than me at the time. And she's like, well, she's like, just be careful and tell me where you're going to be at, you know, Mexican moms. <laughs> she's like, tell me where you're going to be at, the address or, or the guy's number or something. Okay, so I left her his number, but I didn't tell her where we were going because I didn't even know myself. So I just told her, okay, when I get there, like, I'll text you and I'll let you know where he's taking me. And so my mom just let me borrow something that she had because my mom had a lot of clothes and she had a lot of new clothes that she didn't even use at all. And they were small sizes too. I don't know why. But anyways, <laughs> I, I get ready, whatever, this guy's gonna come and pick me up and I'm like, okay, like, I hope this goes smooth, you know? I wasn't really that interested in, like, dating at that time, but I was like, okay, let's see how it goes. Maybe you never know, something can spark, right? Or so I thought. So, <laughs> this guy tells me, like, oh, I'm outside, like, um, I came to pick you up already. And I'm like, okay, like, I'll, I'll go outside right now, you know. I left him waiting there, like, five minutes outside. So then I was like, okay, like, now it's time for me to go outside. <laughs> so I go, and and he comes out, you know, he opens the door and all that good stuff. And then right off the bat, I was like, okay, like, he's a gentleman. He didn't bring flowers or anything, but it's okay, you know. <laughs> I mean, we all have our standards and what we like you know so he didn't bring any flowers or anything he just he opened the door which was very nice and he's being a gentleman and he takes me we go and i and he starts talking to me like like oh so like what do you like to eat or what do you like to do you know he's like i kind of have an idea where i want to take you but i kind of want to know what you like too and i was just telling him you know like i enjoy watching movies like i'm not at the time, like, I wouldn't really party during that time or anything. So I was like, oh, like, I like movies. I like music. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm into a lot of stuff. Okay, and then he just started telling me, like, well, I was planning on taking you to the theaters and, and this, this, and that, right? And I was like, oh, that sounds good. And in my head, I was like, oh, my God, like, I should have eaten before because I didn't eat anything. Like, I did not eat anything. So I was like, snap. And we were on our way, and then he's like, oh, do you want to grab something to eat first? Because, I mean, originally, like, it is a day you normally do go eat and then do something else or or whatever. So I was like, yeah, sure, like, I could eat. And then he's like, okay, so, you guys, this, this is where it went bad. Like, bad. We go, okay, <laughs> we go to this, to this burger place, I'm not going to say the name, we go to this burger place and instead of him asking me like oh like what do you want to get or like what do you feel like eating he automatically chooses what we're gonna eat you guys he didn't even ask like do you want a regular burger do you want a, a chicken you know sandwich 
or whatever he didn't ask me like what I wanted like he just got whatever he thought was good so he got two burgers meat burgers and at the time I wouldn't really eat burgers because I didn't like the meat like it, it grossed me out for some reason when I was like younger so I was like uh you know I was like oh well you know mm -hmm. Uh, so he got the burgers and then he got one order of fries Yeah, one order of fries and then he didn't even get drinks and I was like in my head like okay. I was like in my head. I was instantly regretting it because I was like I should have just went out to eat by myself and buy my own food what I wanted to eat You know what I mean? And I, I didn't want to be rude because you know, I didn't know his money situation or whatever But I mean you should know that if you're taking a female on a date You should at least be considerate of what she wants to eat or what she doesn't or what she likes or what she doesn't Well, this guy did not even do that. So I was like I was like, okay, you know, maybe it's not that bad. I'll I'll, I'll work with that for now. You know, I have no way out of it now <laughs> so he gets one order of fries and, and I asked him, I was like, oh, are you going to get any drinks? Like we had already, well, he had already ordered. So he's like, oh, he's like, I was thinking we can like stop by like at a gas station and get some, you know, sodas or something. And I was like, I was like, okay, that works. You know what I mean? A soda's a soda, but still, you know, I was like, uh, okay. And that, that's not the reason why I, I was bugging about the soda. When we left that place to get the food, we went to the gas station and he went in there. He didn't ask me what soda I wanted or drink or anything, you guys, like anything. And he comes back and luckily, like, I like Sprite. He got two Sprites, but still, like, he didn't even ask me what I wanted or anything. So I was just like, yeah, no, like, I, in my head, I was already like, I'm never coming out with this guy again. Even if it wasn't anything, you know, like serious serious where like oh he's trying to you know like he's trying to start a relationship with me in the future or something it didn't really seem that way because he was slacking a lot in the way he, he was choosing things for the both of us and doing that stuff and honestly i, I would not want to be with, with somebody that does that <laughs> but anyways so after that we get our food and he's like oh well, let's, let's park somewhere you know and eat and then we can go to the theaters and i was like okay that sounds good and then in my head, I was instantly thinking, like, he got one order of fries. Like, if he eats those fries by himself, I'm going to lose it. So he's like, oh, he's like, I got one order of fries, so we're going to share half and half. And I was like, okay, at least, at least, at least he's giving me half, you know? And, and I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, well, you should have bought your own food, blah, 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 blah. But no, like... As a lady, you want to be treated like a lady, and when you're invited on a date, especially on Valentine's Day, like, you want to be treated right, right? So, we start eating, we're done with our food, our soda, whatever. We go to the theaters, you guys, like, you know, you know, as a, as a girl, you like little snacks, you know, if you're watching a movie, maybe a drink from the theater or something, so you can, like, eat some junk food or drink something. No, you guys, like, we got to the theater, and automatically he was like, oh, okay, like, uh, how much are these tickets, blah, 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 he paid for the two tickets. Uh, he, he had already mentioned the movie that we should watch, and I was like, okay, like, for sure. So, we went in there, and then I was automatically walking towards, like, the popcorn and all that stuff. And then he just points out, he's like, oh, like, the theater's this way, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, I didn't say anything, right? And then um, while we were walking towards like the theater room, I'm like, oh wait, like I kind of want to buy something from the snack area because at this point I was already like uncomfortable with how things were going, you know? So I was like, okay, like let me just go buy something really quick and then we'll go. And he's like, okay, he's like, um, he, <laughs> you guys, he gives me the ticket and he tells me I'll wait for you over there. I was like. I was like, yeah, sure. I was like, okay, sounds good. When I tell you that I felt like calling my mom to pick me up. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? Why am I here? <laughs> you know, he wasn't rude it or anything, but he was just a little too comfortable with me. Like, too, too comfortable, I guess. And he literally left and he went to go sit down. And I went to, like, the area where there's popcorn and everything. 
I bought some popcorn and I bought a drink and I only got it for myself. I didn't even get him anything. I was like, nope. So I got my little candies, you know. I So I like to do this weird stuff where I mix chocolate with popcorn and I eat it like that. So I did that and I took my stuff and I offered him some. I was like, you want some? He's like, oh yeah. Like he got some and I was sharing at least, you know. But I wasn't going to go and buy him like some stuff on the side because the whole point of valentine's day was like you know it, it's supposed to be a romantic day or something you know a little more towards the female rather than the guy i guess so yeah i was like uh yeah never again in my head i was like i am never ever ever going out with this person again and that was like a big lesson to me too because i was like oh like if i was gonna have to pay for like my own things i don't want it especially if it's a date like no and I mean, you guys might have your own opinions, but that's just mine, at least how I think now. Now that I think back and I'm like, what was I thinking? You guys, after that, I didn't talk to him anymore. I didn't, like, I mean, he would go to my workplace and say hi or like, how are you or whatever. But I tried my best to ignore like messages and calls or whatever, you know, and then he would tell me like, like, oh, like this weekend, um, maybe we can go to the theaters again or something. And I'll be like, oh, no, sorry. Like, I'm busy. Like, I have a client or something because I had, um, I, ha I would do makeup. Ignore my phone. <laughs> so I would do makeup and I, I just, I kind of would blow him off. And eventually, I think he kind of caught on because he stopped. Like, he would still say hi to me, but he stopped trying to ask me, like, to go out with him or anything. But... Oh my god, whenever I think back on days like this and, and things like these, it it bothers me so much. Like, it bothers me so much. Uh, but yeah, you guys, this is, this is one of my crazy bad Valentine's dates that will never happen again. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, this is it. Like, this was the full story. And if you guys want any more of these little stories, just let me know in the comments down below. I have so many stories for you guys i swear to god like this video don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye